Hey, this is Brother Jeff, and I'm going to walk you through how to get one of the HTML games from the Interaction Builder. Um, or you can do the same thing here that I'm about to do in the template library. But I'm going to show you how to get it from, uh, get these files, and then how to insert it using the HTML extension inside of Lectora. Now, I'm going to be using version 11 because that's the only version that I have, but there's still the HTML extension inside of older versions of Lectora. Um, there is, in the new version of Lectora, there is uh, a new web window, but um, and we have a recording for that one specifically, but in this case, we're just going to focus on how to do it for older versions as well. So the first thing I want to do is start out with my interaction. So let's say I've already built it out inside of the Interaction Builder, or if I come to the uh, library uh, template library and I've already chosen which one I want, um, the next step is to go ahead and download it. <clears throat> Once you download it, select the HTML5 option, and this will download to your desktop or wherever you have it saved on your, uh, wherever you have it saved to download. And you'll notice three different files. We have the game show file, we have the core folder, and then we have the index.html file. Now, <clears throat> you're not going to be using the index.html file. Um, except for just to get a reference to one file. So let's go ahead and you can open up an index file in Notepad if you're on Windows or on uh, Text Edit or any other text editor, HTML editor. Um, the only one line that we're really worried about is this reference to this game file, game show slash game.html. You can copy that, you can paste it, but that's what we need because we're going to be creating an iframe inside of Lectora. So with that iframe, you're going to have to add on its own attributes and everything like that. But for now, <clears throat> that's uh, just make reference to that. And now let's go over to Lectora. So here, I'm going to pull up a new application um, or a new instance of Lectora. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start a new project, a new title. Again, this is the new version of Lectora, but what I'm doing here will apply to older versions of Lectora. If you click on New Blank Title, and let's go ahead and just save this somewhere. Um, anywhere is fine for now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now, on whatever page you want the, uh, the game to be in, what you'll need to do is click on Insert. And instead of the web window, this is only for version 11, but instead of uh, for web window, you want to find where it says HTML extension. I'm not sure exactly where that's at in previous versions, but there is. I, I know for sure there are uh, older versions that have HTML extension in there. Now when I click on HTML extension, it then grabs my window here. Um, I can then select the position and size. Let's just do 920. The default size of any interaction that you download from the Interaction Builder is going to be 920 by 540. So let's switch that to 540. And there we go. Actually, I had it locked. That should be, okay, 920 by, oh, sorry, 720 by 540. There we go. So now I have that here. Now what I need to do is I need to attach additional files. With that selected, I'm gonna come up to the Properties tab or the Properties window, wherever you can see that, and I'm going to click on Additional Files. This allows me to add those two folders. If I come back here, we need to add these two folders, the game show folder and the core folder. We don't need to worry about the index.html file. We've already gotten what we need from there. But I need to click on add folder and then go find those folders. And so I'm gonna select on my desktop here. I'm gonna select the game show folder and you don't need to select anything in there because I wanna grab everything. So I'm just gonna grab game show. And then I'm going to click on add folder again scroll down and select on core. Once I select on core, I can just go ahead and click OK and then click OK there. <clears throat> so that's the necessary folders that we need, but it's still not going to work. We need to add our iframe in there. So selecting on this object, I'm going to click on this edit button. So wherever the edit button is, and I'm going to add some iframe HTML. Go ahead and pause this recording if you need to write this down, but it's a simple HTML tag for iframe. We're pointing to the source um, of game show slash game.html. If you remember, this is the path that we got from the index.html file. Uh, so we know exactly which file to point to. Then we're adding some attributes. Uh, width is 920 by 540. 
Actually, I do need to switch that back to 920, but, um, and then, so we're adding a width attribute, we're adding a height attribute, height equals, uh, in quotations, 540, and then frame border equals zero. Now you can change that to one, or you can just delete that, and so that would add a border around the iframe. But if you don't want the border around the iframe, you can just add this uh, frame border equals quotations zero. And I'm gonna click okay. Now that's pretty much all that I have to do. If I go ahead and I click on preview in browser, it's going to preview my course. Preview my, uh, it's gonna preview my game so I can uh, see all, everything will work inside of here. If I come back in here and I insert other objects, let's just insert a shape uh, onto my stage there. You can see if I preview it again, my other objects inside of Lectora are still visible as well. So that's how you get started with using the uh, HTML extensions, going into inserts, the insert menu, and then HTML extensions for um, version 11 and older versions of Lectora, how you get our custom HTML games inside of it.